Hey everybody, happy Friday. We've made it to Friday. Gosh, time just keeps going by so fast. I can't believe it's Friday again. And how are we already towards the end of September? Crazy, my birthday is at the end of September, so I always get excited for September. And because of the weather starts to cool off. I know some of you up, up in the North don't understand what it's like to have this heat all year long and then finally. It's felt really good here today. Hello, good, all of you are jumping on. I always seem to talk about the weather. I'm a little weather obsessed in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> I am a weather nerd for sure. Good to see you guys, thanks for joining me. Um, today, we're doing Beautiful Autumn. This is a great little stamp set. Um, this stamp set has three punches that coordinate with it. You can buy them as a bundle. Um, for those of you who may not like die cutting all that much, uh, you prefer the punches, this is the set for you. Um, it, it comes with three punches and they're, they're not the tiny punches and they're not the big punches. They're kind of in the middle. So they're really cool. So we're gonna do that today. I've got three projects for you. I've got another cut and emboss machine to give away, yay! And I've got lots of things to tell you. So I'm gonna get started pretty quickly. My youngest daughter is taking, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say this. My youngest daughter is taking, she's in middle school. This is the first, I'm trying to get my video to share. So if, if it looks weird, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, she, this is her first year in middle school or junior high, whichever you call it, wherever you are. And um, it's been an adjustment, let's just say. You know, the beginning of middle school is an adjustment anyway when you're in person, um, but it is definitely an adjustment when, okay, I can't figure this out. I don't know. Yeah, just discard, whatever. I was gonna try to share that over to my page, but I can't figure it out. Middle school is an adjustment anyway, right? So to start middle school virtually has been even crazier. Um, <laughs> she's been like, you know, as soon as the teacher says, okay, that's the lesson, you know, like do your work. And they usually leave the Zooms open for the kids to ask questions. She logs off right away, logs off, logs off. So we've been having to figure some things out. But anyway, she has a test today. And I told her before she submits it, I just wanna make sure she's completed it and done it the right way. Because it's a little distracting, right? Sitting up there with your Xbox next to you, and your toys and all that, it's kind of hard to do school. So anyway, I'm staying on top of her and I told her I would try to be done by three o'clock. We'll see. Okay, I see lots of you on here. I'm gonna flip you down today to show you the things that I wanna show you, okay? Uh, let's see, all right, I'm gonna uh, switch. Awesome. Okay, so I probably should admit that I'm gonna look at her test. I don't know, is that bad? I'm not gonna tell her the answers, but I'm gonna just check it and make sure that she answered all the questions. <laughs> oh, her fifth grade teacher was so good. Addie's one of those that speeds through things. She's always the first one done. And her teacher would always, when she turned it in, would look and be like, nope, boop, 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 you forgot, go back. And I knew that that was gonna be a problem in middle school because middle school teachers don't do that, right? Anyhow, she's a great student and she cares about her grades. She's just trying to figure out the responsibility aspect, right? Middle school, that's the big, that's the big switch in middle school. You've got to learn responsibility. Okay, everything's too close. Let me move everything back. First thing I wanna tell you is the Halloween class. Here it is. Um, tomorrow's the deadline. I'm actually gonna start working on this on Sunday um, afternoon. My husband's taking the kids out of the house. I'm gonna have some quiet time. I'm gonna start working on this class Sunday afternoon. So tomorrow, oops, tomorrow is your last chance um, to register for this. Um, it will ship out no later than Thursday because guess what? I'm going out of town on Thursday. I won't be here next week for Facebook Friday. It's my birthday and my husband and I are sneaking away. It, I cannot wait, I can hardly stand it. So anyway, this class will ship before I leave. So you've got to register for this class by tomorrow. Um, it includes six 3D, it's all Halloween projects, 3D featuring the Hallow's Night Magic, which I think should be called something else, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother subject. Um, you can get the class with the bundle, and I love these dies, aren't these fabulous? You can get it with a bundle, you can get it without the bundle, you can get PDF only, three different options, and if you're on my team, you can get just the make and takes um, at a very cheap price. Anyhow, 
67 for the full kit, including the bundle, 30 for the kit without the bundle, 18 for my downline, 15 for the PDF. Um, you get a bolt of ribbon for free. You get all the make and takes and the full color step-by-step -step PDF. It's all there for you. Um, let's see, what else do I need to tell you? That link, I can't post that link on social media or my blog per Stampin' Up! policy. It is in an email that I sent out today. By the way, you guys, I don't know if you saw my post, but everything is going in spam. Suddenly, all of my emails I'm sending you guys are going in everybody's spam. And all of my emails are going to spam. My kids' teachers' emails are going into spam. I found all kinds of things in my spam folder. So check your spam folder. And I even I even uh, made some of my emails labeled VIP and they still go to spam. I don't know how to fix that. If anybody out there knows how to make that like not happen. I mean, yes, they're in my address book. Yes, they're VIP, but they still end up in spam. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to control it. So I'm just giving you guys a little uh, public service announcement. <laughs> Check your spam folder. Anyway, the link to register for this. Boy, that, that was a squirrel moment. Um, link for this was in the PDF. I mean, in the email I sent this morning. You can also email me um, asking me for that link. Another thing, you guys, Messenger, my Facebook looks totally different. I do Facebook on my laptop. And it's totally changed, right? Some of you probably know that you've probably seen it too. Um, and I realized today that messages that were going to Pink Buckaroo on Facebook, like it's gone. Like I can't see it where I normally see it, which was hard anyway for me to see. And now I can't see it at all. So if you message me on Facebook, it might take me days to, to get to it because I don't see it and I forget. Email's the best way, Okay. And I'll be checking my spam folder every day. All right, so there's that. Tomorrow's the last day for that, okay? Okay. Next. Um, okay, this. Let me show you this. Starter kit promotion right now is really awesome. Starter kit is always $99. You get $125 of product in your choice, whatever you want. Free shipping. This month, you also get the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set and the so much love stamp set and supplies to make 16 cards so when you get your starter kit if you want to hold a, a class right away you have everything that you need to to do the do the class you've got the make and takes look they're already cut sorted everything's for there for you you'll need ink and adhesive and that's it so all of that is still 99 dollars. plus you join my team you get everything at a discount you get my pds for free it's an awesome deal okay next um, earlier in the week, I sent out, uh, this month's all-star tutorial PDF to everyone who had ordered this month. I was way behind. I tried to do it once a week and I had not done it. So it went out, um, I don't know, a couple of days ago to everybody who has placed an order with me online that was more than $50. If you didn't get it, email me because it's probably in spam somewhere because I send those out to groups of emails which I think is part of the problem why emails are ending up in spam. If you send it to like five people, 10 people, the email thinks it's spam. So anyway, this is free with a $50 order. If you haven't gotten it and you think you earned it, please let me know. I, I will send it to you. Um, and I haven't sent it out. It might have been Monday. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to set this on my computer. And as soon as I'm done with Facebook Friday, I'm going to send it out for everybody who's ordered in the last few days for the Cut and Emboss special. Um, thank you very much, by the way. We'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, this month's PDF is 12 tutorials um, by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators, all featuring the Playing with Pattern Suite. The directions, are they come in imperial and metric, okay? So inches and centimeters. And every project has a video link. So it's a video tutorial, 12 video tutorials. This is mine this month. It's a cute little box card thing. So um, also this is for sale in my PDF store, $15. You can find it. You can find my PDF store. Um, I'll, I'll link it here on this video, but you can also click on the link at the top of my blog that says PDF store. Okay. All right, now a little sneak peek. By the way, I think I already said no Facebook Friday next week. So this is the last Facebook Friday of September. Next week, I'm gonna put out my classes for October. Lots of leaves, I mean, love of leaves will be my class to go, okay? Details coming, it's not ready. It'll be ready next week. It's kind of ready, but I, I need to 
tweak the PDF and all that. So that's that announcement will come next week. And then my Club Create for October features the Coming Home Bundle. If you want to join Club Create, I am taking a few more members. So you can um, find that by search. I, I'll link it. I'll link it. I don't have, think I have a link on today's post. But anyway, Club Create is coming. PDF, if you want just the PDF and the video, that's coming as well. Okay. All right. That's that. Let me put that up here. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Okay, I'm gonna save the fun, the most fun for the very, well, not the end, but before I start stamping. Prizes from last week. There were lots of you who shared the video. So here are my winners. I picked three winners, Marianne Robbins, Judy Fetters, and Karen Lopez. Ladies, please message me your addresses. I may have them, I may not. Sometimes it takes me a long time to find them, but if you message me, I will get it out immediately. All right, message me your address. Congratulations, ladies. Thanks so much for sharing my video um, on Facebook. It helps me find new customers, and I really do appreciate that. Hello, everybody. I have been ignoring your comments so that I could get through this without being distracted. It's good to see you guys. Um, prized Peony. And the best year bundle, those are the two bundles I'm giving away this week. I've got bundles galore to give away. I'm so excited to have really good prizes right now. This one includes the best plaid builder dies, and this one includes the peony dies. So I'll pick two winners in two weeks um, from those of you who share this video today. Make sure you comment shared so I know that you shared, um, and I will enter you into that drawing. All right, speaking of drawings, you guys, you guys have blown me away this week. So I was about, give or take, $4,000 away from my goal, which is a lot. And I, um, I knew I wasn't doing Facebook Friday next week. I needed to do something to help me get there. So I decided to do this fun. Um, the girl I buy Mary Kay from does this all the time. She makes these little boards and does giveaways. And I love it. I get so excited about it. So I thought, I'm going to do that. And I thought, maybe I can get there by the end of September. So I announced this, what, two days ago? I think it was Wednesday night. And you guys, we're look, the entire board is almost full. <laughs> I have two spots left, that's it. I will, if you guys still wanna play, I will add another line. I am happy to give away another cut and emboss machine. But I want you guys to know you've blown me away. Thank you so much. You have helped me reach my goal. I am within pennies right now of my $900,000 in career sales, which blows my mind. Um, so the next stop is the million dollar, right? The big million dollars in sales. Um, my goal is to have that by May. I think I will get it earlier. Um, we'll see. Who knows? Um, you never know what's going to happen. But my goal is to have it by May. Fingers crossed. We'll be going to Hawaii with Stampin' Up! in May. And I will have it by then. So that's my goal. So you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. I did a drawing here. Um, was that yesterday or day before yesterday? Um, June was the winner for the first Cut in a Boss machine. The next winner, winner was... I suddenly am, am forgetting. Who was it? It was Ruth. Ruth won the second one. So right now, I've added all of these names in here. For every $50, you get a square. And I have them all here. Look, I'm almost to the fourth one. But we're going to do the third one right now, okay? All right, you guys. You guys. Catherine, you're so sweet. You guys have, I mean, I am so close. I actually put in an order today that helped as well um, for, for the Halloween class. So thank you, you guys, you're, you're amazing. But I don't know. I mean, I feel just, I almost didn't even do this cause I was a little, like, I felt kind of embarrassed. Maybe that's the word to ask for help to get to my goal. And now I'm like, why did, why was I embarrassed? You guys are amazing. You're so, you're so good to me. All right, let's, let's pick a cut and emboss machine. I really should have my daughters do this because then, then it won't be my fault if you don't win. Okay, ready? And the winner is Sherry Tarpley. Yay, Sherry, congratulations. Sherry, I'll email you this afternoon, okay? Now I'm gonna leave all these names in here. When we get here, maybe tomorrow, maybe later tonight, I will add the next two and we'll do a drawing and then I will add another line. I'll be more than happy to give another one away as a thank you to you guys, okay? All right, so Sherry, congratulations. That's very, very exciting. 
Carla, you're funny. I don't think so. That that would be a lot of sales to get to the million dollars by the end of the calendar year. I don't think so. Um, I mean, wow, that'd be amazing. Halfway, halfway there, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, you guys, let's get busy. Um, I've got three projects for you today. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, I pick a product. This week, it is the beautiful autumn stamp set and the three coordinating punches, which I'll pull out in just a second. We're going to make three projects. I am obsessed with this one. It's a teeny tiny little caddy, a coffee cup caddy that holds K-cups. I was inspired by our little coffee caddies that we have in the catalog that are much bigger than this. Um, I like to use K-cups as gifts. So that's what that is. So that'll be our third project. But anyway, you can find this PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo. It's linked there. If the link is broken, someone let me know. You guys, if you ever find a link that doesn't work on my blog, please let me know. Somebody told me today, Leah told me today that my YouTube um, icon on the left side that has been there for years. The link took you to an old, super old YouTube channel. It wasn't even my current YouTube channel. I'm so embarrassed. I cannot imagine how long that link has been wrong. So if you guys ever see something like that, let me know, because I don't know. <laughs> All right, so you can get this PDF over there. It's free. Click on the link on below the photo, um, the last photo. Everything that I mentioned is here. Oh, the Autumn Goodness PDF from this month's um, Club Create is available in my PDF store if you want that. And I think that's it. Also, if you put in an order, here's the host code for this week. If you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, that is over $35, you will get these make and takes for free. Um, they look like this. Um, they come, you know, with everything that you need except for stamped images. I don't stamp, pre-stamp the images. I'm looking at this and it looks crooked. Let me see. Hmm. There's a delay, so I never know. Um, you get a thank you tag. Look at my cute thank you tag this week. So cute. You get everything that you need in there to make the three projects. You'll need the stamps, the ink, and if the stamps have the matching dies or punches, you'll need that also. So for this week's projects, you'll need the stamps and the punches. Okay, everything else will come to you. Um, but I send them like this in the mail. I'll have them in the mail by Wednesday this coming week. And everybody who placed their order this week for the cut and emboss machine too, you'll get those as well. Okay, you guys, I, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Sherry, oh good Sherry, you're here. Yay, are you excited? It must be fun to hear your name. I am one of those people who never win anything um, when there's some kind of giveaway or a prize or whatever, I, I never win. So I love when I hear somebody, June said that to me um, the other day when I emailed her, she just said, you gotta be kidding me, this never happens. So I know a lot of you probably feel that way. Um, there are some people who are just lucky, right? They're just lucky and they win all the time. I am not one of those people. Okay, let's get started. We are gonna make a shaker card first. Let me get everything out. And here are our punches. They're not the tiny punches, and they're not the big punches. See how they're kind of like in the middle? Um, they're easy to, to punch with, they're not hard, and they do have that lock there. And they don't, they, they're not sold individually. You have to get them as a, as a group. Two leaves and the acorn, all right? Okay, so we're gonna make a shaker card first. That was the first thing that popped into my mind, um, is to make a shaker card with these leaves. So I went and looked for a stamp set that had a tree. So this one, Life is Beautiful, also from the holiday catalog, um, was perfect, okay? And that's what we're gonna do. Let's start out with our tree. And we're going to use the stamp apparatus because that tree is really big. And I find that the big stamps are much better to stamp with the stamp apparatus. So I have it on here. I did make clean recordings today. Of all three videos, they are already linked and ready to go. So if you come back, you know what? I'm gonna clean this and put this back on here so that I have it in the right place. So if you come back to make one of these projects, like if you get the make and takes, you don't have to necessarily watch the live video because I know the live sometimes can be annoying when I like go off on a tangent and tell you dumb stories and you're like, get to the project. 
So that's why the clean recordings are there. They're linked to on my blog and they're on YouTube. Alrighty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is a really big stamp. I'm gonna lay this down. That magnet's gonna need to move. It barely fits on this piece of paper, just barely. And the measurements are on the PDF, you guys, okay? All right, now I'm gonna pick that up. Hopefully it doesn't pick up the paper, and it did. Just lay down, let's make sure we're still in the right spot. Okay, oh, that's okay, we're gonna cover that up. All right, so now it's because my stamp was still wet from cleaning it with my chamois. All right, we're gonna stamp this in, er, um, not early espresso, soft suede. Um, let's see, I need this. I'm reading comments. See, I just get so distracted. When this happens, you guys, when you get ink on your Stamparatus plate, wipe it off because it'll get on your white paper. And then that's a bummer, you have to stamp again. Okay, so let's lay that down. Okay, this, come on, stay. So lay this down. <laughs> hey, Mike. Um, Mike, the measurements are on the PDF, but I will tell you, no, it is three and three fourths by five. Is that what you're asking me, the whisper white? It's, it's three and three fourths by five. All right, now we're going to do all the little stamping before we make, obviously, before we make the shaker, we have to have all the stamping. So my color palette for this card is, let's put soft suede in there, um, Bumblebee, Pumpkin Pie, Cherry Cobbler, Old Olive, Soft Suede. P Bumblebee has quickly become my favorite color. I love it. There was a yellow many years ago. We've talked about this and I can't remember. Somebody told me what it was called and now I can't remember. I'm gonna stamp them in the same color ink on each piece of cardstock, okay? What was the old yellow, you guys? That it was not that ugly star, star fruit. Um, summer star fruit, remember that color? Ugh. There was a yellow that retired in one of our color refreshes, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago. And it was a soft, buttery yellow like this, and I loved it. And this is a good replacement. Have you tried the vampire Hershey kisses? What? Lisa, Lisa is so good at finding the goodies. Lisa, Vampire Hershey Kisses, please tell me they're red in the middle. Are they red in the middle? Because that would be hilarious. I haven't even seen them. All right, we're gonna do this one and Old Olive. You're gonna stamp these about three times. Three times is gonna be too many. You're gonna have extras left over, but it gives you options, okay? And then Cherry Cobbler right here. And notice I'm stamping them close to the edge because that way you can punch them. Ah, got that on my nail. And last but not least, we're gonna do the acorn. I'm gonna do the acorn in soft suede ink on soft suede cardstock. My soft suede cardstock's tiny. These stamps, Summer Starfruit was the ugly one, Diane. More mustard, that was it, Susan. More mustard, oh yes, Nina got it too. More mustard, do you guys remember that color? I loved that color. Um, this stamp set, so it has, for those of you that don't like to color, this is a great stamp set because it has what I call the fill-in stamp. So it has the outline and then the fill-in. So you can stamp that and you don't have to color it. You get that one and you stamp the ink in the middle. So we don't need to do that because we did these all on colored cardstock. However, I am gonna do that acorn top. I wanted there to be a little bit of, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Just a little variation here on that acorn, okay? We will use the fill-in stamps on the next project. Okay, so now you're gonna get your punch and turn it over like this, you guys, so you can see exactly where you're, you're punching. If you're new, sometimes that, that's confusing. I've seen new stampers say, but wait, how do I do this? You just flip it over. Okay, and then the last one. Now, believe it or not, it's kind of time consuming and tedious to punch all these out. So, I did it ahead of time. So we're just gonna take those and save them for later. Look, I already have them all right here, okay? Okay, now let's do, let's get our heart. Oh, that's bugging me. Oh well, 
I could glue down a leaf to cover that up. It's gonna be in the shaker, you won't see it. The new cut and emboss machine, here it is. Three people are getting a new cut and emboss machine. Okay, these are the Be Mine Stitched Heart Dies, or the Stitched Heart Be Mine Dies, I don't know, one of those. I can never remember if the Be Mine comes first or if the Stitched Heart comes first. Anyhow, it's the Stitched Heart Dies. And I am putting, the, the one on the outside cuts out a solid heart with stitches. The one on the inside cuts out the inside part of the heart so that we just have the frame, the heart frame, okay? So very carefully, oh, I should have my magnet sheet here so that this stays centered because we don't want it to get too skinny on either edge because we're going to put foam adhesive strips to make this a shaker. Okay, so see how that one cut out the solid and this one cuts out the center. You can save that for another time. There's your heart. And then you're gonna get a window sheet. This is a window sheet, okay? It's um, acetate. If you were ever a teacher, this is like an overhead. Do you guys remember the overhead projector? I loved overheads when I was teaching. They kind of had been uh, like gone by the wayside before I left the classroom. We were using like the iPad and the projector and stuff, but overhead projectors were fun. Anyway, that's what it always reminds me of is an overhead sheet. And that yes, they are in the catalog. So then we're gonna use that middle, no, no, the outside, the larger heart to cut out a window sheet. Does anybody still use an overhead projector? I'm sure they do. All the teachers now have that projector, that Elmo thing. All right, see, there we go. Okay. You guys, it's really interesting to have your kids doing um, distance learning for one thing. It's like you can sit in their classroom and hear their teacher. You know, that's a little bit scary, I think, for teachers too. Not that they would be doing anything wrong necessarily, but that te that parents could judge their teaching. You know what I'm saying? Because yesterday, I did some serious judging. <laughs> we, I will, I will, I will not name names, and I will not even say which child, but there is a teacher who is who needs some improvements, we'll just say that. This teacher is doing bare minimum. The teaching is terrible. <laughs> I, it's like I should not be able to see him teaching. Oh, I gave it away to him. I shouldn't because, oh gosh, I wanna call immediately and say, give her a different teacher. I was a teacher, so I can, I can judge, I can judge, but. Uh, I don't know. I think if I was teaching right now and knowing that I was on camera all the time, I think that would be very scary. Not that you're doing anything wrong, but just that parents can judge you much more easily <laughs> when they can sit and watch you teach all day. Okay, did you guys see what I did? I glued that to the acetate. But I will say, on the flip side, some of the other teachers that we have are doing an amazing job amazing i mean to to adapt to distance learning like this because i know some of you will know too like we're not all technology geniuses and that's that's a huge technology leap that's a huge huge technology leap and they're doing an amazing job most of them anyhow i just um glued that to an early espresso mat um and my big dimensionals where did they go all right well we'll use Oh, no, we don't want minis. How it sounds on a remote learning is not the same. Catherine, amen, sister. You know, we used to think remote learning could be the way of the future. Dear Lord, please don't let it be the way of the future. It is not the same in the least. Those teachers can do an amazing job, right? Doing an amazing lesson, but to not have those kids in front of them, it, it, it's not the same. It is not the same. It, it falls flat, you know? It just, especially when you're sitting in your bedroom with all those distractions and you don't have other kids to interact with. Ugh, I know, I know, I talk about it every week. I should, I know, hush. Okay, 
So we're gonna put this here like this in a minute. And I'm gonna lay these down in a little pile. I'm gonna make sure they're all facing the right direction and not, you know, flipped up. Um, let's see, we need some orange. I was gonna say something about that, and now I don't remember. Let's put this acorn on the top. Oh, I know, don't overfill this, which I did in the beginning and had to rip it up and take some stuff out because it was so tight in there, it wasn't shaking around. So don't overfill, see I have some left. Now, to add some fun to this, we're gonna use sequins for everything. Have you guys seen these? Look at that. Oh, it's the four little, little cavities of <laughs> different colored sequins. And you wanna be very careful. I just, every time I open it, I think I'm gonna, you know, like, and everything's gonna go everywhere. And then they are kind of staticky. So, you know, you're gonna have to deal with that. So get all of those, they're so cute. I'm using the orange ones, but the, the gold ones would work, the green ones, the red ones would work. I think they all would work, wouldn't they? Oh, Leah, uh-huh. She says one of her, her daughter's teachers is a phenomenal in person, but distance learning is a struggle. Yes. I think it's a distraction for everybody because you can't focus on your teaching. You're focusing on, oh, is it glitching? Can they hear me? You know, oh, the camera fell down. You know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just a different beast. It can be done. Yes, it can be done. But I, I definitely want to say that I prefer in person for sure. And my kids too. Um, my youngest was a little teary again this morning and she has never not wanted to go to school. <sighs> it's hard. Okay. Enough. I know. Are you guys tired of hearing me talk about that? These are our foam adhesive strips. I have cut them in half and I'm going to start right up here and I'm just going to follow along that the back of the window sheet so that it's hidden behind the frame of the heart. Thanks, Julie. Oh, Nina, you did special ed kindergarten. Oh, I taught kindergarten for a long time too. Um, and I, one of my very good friends teaches kindergarten. Um, we used to teach together and she's just been telling me what, it, what, it, what they're dealing with. And I just, it breaks my heart for everybody, for the teachers and the kids, because it's not how it should be. It's not. Okay, so see how I've got that on there and you can't see it because it's hidden behind there. And now I'm gonna peel this off and we're gonna set that right on there. I've gotta make sure that these guys are all within the little window like that. Okay, and let's check it out. Let's test it, make sure I pushed it down. There we go. Oh, I got, probably could have put more leaves. See, I was afraid to overfill, but look, that's fun. You know who loves shaker cards? Kids. Well, everybody loves a shaker card, but kids really love shaker cards. All right, so I'm gonna get, Charlie, don't start it, please. I don't know what you're barking at, buddy. Um, You know what, I threw away, no, no, here it is. I need a little scrap. Charlie still smells like a skunk, by the way. We did, you guys gave great suggestions. Um, we did the, where's my stamp? I saw it just a minute ago. And now I, oh, here it is. We did, <laughs> Mac's peeking his head in here. No, Mac, there's no food in here. Um, we tried the baking soda peroxide Dawn combination to little or no effect. So at this point, I think we're just gonna have to wait it out. It has been now been, what, over a week since Charlie tried to, get himself a skunk and uh the other two are fine they don't stink but charlie oh i mean it makes my eyes water all right so i just stamped that in um soft suede on whisper white and i'm just gonna cut i didn't leave myself a lot of room but i'm gonna cut that at an angle and i'm gonna come down here and i'm going to add this on with a little bit of tombow Hey, Denise, are you on here? Denise, I shorted you yesterday on Tombow. So you're going to be short one, okay? Probably, I think. 
Denise is my friend slash assistant slash downline who helps me. Oops, I still need that. And she came by yesterday and picked up the adhesive for the next round of adhesive kits. So those of you who want an adhesive kit, it's coming. All right, so I'm just gonna put these leaves kind of like this, right there, like that. And then we've got an acorn left. Wet glue, twice in one episode, Catherine says. I know, look at me. You know what, it's a brand new bottle. It's, I found it, I gave Denise glue to put in the adhesive kits and I found it on the floor after, after I gave her all that. Um, and or actually it was in the box and when I cut down the box, fell on the floor. So it's a brand new bottle <laughs> and look, I did pretty good with it, right? Brand new bottles work really well. Okay. It's funny that you noticed that now I had twine. You know, I'm, I'm not supposed to lose things until the third project. Is it on a different tray? Well, it's here somewhere. All right, that's all right. I have another. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. It wasn't, it was over on the other counter. All right, we're going to take twine and we're just going to add a little bitty bow to the bottom and call it a day. This is a fun card, a shaker card. You could change the sentiment, of course, to anything. This would be a fun birthday card, right? My oldest daughter got a package in the mail yesterday. She's doing this senior photography thing. I don't know. Anyway, she got a she got a cute little package from Robin, who's the photographer. And when she opened it, a bunch of this little like glitter and stuff fell out everywhere. She loved it. And we found the glitter all day. It was, one was in the dog's water bowl. One was stuck to her leg. It was funny. So everybody likes surprises. So this would be fun. And you could put those little, those little sequins in the envelope with your card. Wouldn't that be cute? Look, now we can't see. Oh, we can't see the smudge. I should have glued one down there. Anyhow, what do you guys think? Cute, right? Cute, cute. Um, you could, if you didn't want to do a heart, you could do a circle there too, I think. Or a square. Any kind of shaker you want. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you like it. Okay, moving on. Let's see, what do I need to get out of here? A lot of this stuff I'm using on the next project. So let me see. I don't need this. I don't need that. Got to make some room. All this can go over here. All right, now the next card. Do I have any friends watching from Colorado? I... If you guys know, I love the mountains, love the mountains. Utah and Arizona are my favorite place on earth. And everybody, everybody in my, on my Facebook was going to Colorado this summer because I guess that's all we can do, right, is go somewhere where we're outside. And I became totally obsessed with going to Colorado. So my birthday is next week, and my husband said, what do you want? And I said, I want to go to Colorado. <laughs> And he said, okay. So that's what I'm getting for my birthday. We're just going for a couple of nights, just us. Mom's keeping the kids. Thank you, mom, if she's watching. Um, and I cannot wait. So of course, I've been obsessively planning our hikes that we're gonna do. And we're going to um, Rocky Mountain National Park where I am a little obsessed with national parks. So we're doing that. And in that area, there are these beautiful aspen trees that turn bright yellow, right? And against the blue sky, can you picture it in your mind? That beautiful blue fall sky. That was the inspiration for this card. Can you guys see it? Now, my clean recording today, I did, and I used Bumblebee ink. That's what I had put on the supply list. But when I was done, I realized that that's not the right color. It's Daffodil Delight. Daffodil Delight. No, it works, but that's not that bright yellow. So that's what we're going to do. The supply list says Bumblebee but don't use Bumblebee, use the Daffodil Delight, okay? Okay, now let me clean my stamp. I posted a picture of, we should have a little game. How many times does Erica say, where is that blah, 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 I can't find it. Um, on my blog today, for today's post, there is a picture of those Aspen trees. Um, so if you have not seen that, you can, you can look and see how beautiful it is. Um, it is supposed to be a great time. The elks are bugling. Yes, Heather, it's funny that you mentioned that because that's pretty much what sealed the deal, I think. 
<laughs> for my husband. I mean, he probably would have said, okay, anyway, because he's so sweet like that. But when I said, hey, guess what? It's elk. Um, like it's their rut. So they're going to be all making those crazy noises. And he's a big hunter. And I could literally see like the stars in his eyes. Like, oh my gosh, he's so excited. So hopefully we'll see that. Okay, so I'm going to use the fill-in stamp. Remember we talked about the fill-in stamp. And if I stamped it in full strength on there, so if I just inked and stamped, you're going to lose all that detail. So, so ink it and then stamp off so that you get that color, but it's lighter. Okay, see how that works? I can't wait, you guys. I'm trying to not think about it because we're kind of in that time, COVID time, where anything can happen, right? I mean, something could happen and we could not go, which would be totally normal for 2020. Any other time of my life, I wouldn't worry about that, but I'm trying to just not, you know, think about it because something could happen. Something could, you know, cause us to not go. I'm, we, we are going on an airplane, so don't judge me. Don't worry. Um, my husband has actually been flying quite a bit for work. Well, not quite a bit. He's gone on several trips since all of this on the airplane. And he says that it's totally super safe. So I'm not terribly worried about that. Don't judge me. If you think that I shouldn't go, don't tell me. It's fine. You're allowed your opinion. And so am I. <laughs> oh, goodness. Do you ever stop and think about, like, you know, a year ago, if someone had told you that you would be wearing a mask everywhere you went, that restaurants would be closed, that schools would be closed, we would never have believed it. And now it's just... It's normal life for us. Hopefully not forever. It's just so crazy. Okay, so now these gold hoops. I don't, have I used, yes, I did use these on the very first Facebook Live we did for the new catalog. These are the gold hoops. They look like earrings. I love them. They're very light and thin, so they work really well in your card. I'm going to stamp these, um, I don't know, what do you call them? These sprigs. I'm gonna stamp them in crumb cake, um, but I need to know where to stamp them. Now look at the difference. This was the first card I did. You can barely see them. This was the second card I did. You can see them much better, and I like that. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna kind of eyeball where I need to put these, okay? Now I'm stamping them in crumb cake, like that. Then I'm gonna get that filler stamp. Stamp off. And I just stuck my finger in the ink. Kimberly, you're going to Denver on Wednesday too? You're kidding me. Wow, that's crazy. Kimberly and I live very close to each other here in San Antonio. So that's crazy. Oh my goodness, I keep sticking my finger in the ink today. Estes Park, um, what did you say? Where did I see that Estes Park? Kimberly, that's where we're gonna be. <laughs> We'll talk later. Um, okay, now I'm going to do these little guys that kind of look like a, a wheat. It's, I don't know what it is. Some kind of foliage. Y'all know I don't know the names of these. Oh, my gosh. What is wrong with my hand? Why can't I keep it together? Now, that one doesn't have a filler stamp. So I'm just going to use dark crumb cake. I did stamp it in soft suede. And I could use soft suede um stamp and blend but I didn't want it to be super dark so I am just using dark crumb cake I can't believe that's where you're going to be Kimberly that's making me laugh I cannot wait I hope it's clear and beautiful and not smoky and yucky all right I'm going to get a little a couple of don't start Charlie oh Pepper what are you doing I thought you were upstairs she's gotten so yappy you hear her, she's being, she wants to come in, hold on. Okay, come on. Oh, you're not gonna come in? All right, so I put a couple glue dots there and I'm gonna set that down. Oh, oh now they're all coming in great. Oh, my dogs. All right, so I set that on there. Now I'm gonna take, hey, look, Catherine, I'm gonna use the, the liquid glue again. 
I know what is happening. No, Pepper, I can't pick you up right now. She's pat. She's like on my leg. Pick me up. All right. So I'm going to start putting these on here kind of in a haphazard way up and down. No, Peps, I can't pick you up. She's literally pawing me. Peps, come here. Look, you want to say hi to everybody? Say hi, guys. So what are you doing, Mama? I gave her a haircut last night. I have been grooming her myself, and I did a pretty good job, I think. She wasn't happy with me, but taking three dogs to the groomer is very expensive. Okay, so I'm going to do that like that. Now I'm going to add in a couple more. So I'll put one here like that. And she, um, Pepper, the other day, we were on a walk in the morning and she found a coral snake. I didn't even see it and she stopped. And I was like, what is she looking at? And then suddenly I saw it slithering through the grass. Do you guys, do you guys know what coral snakes are? Do y'all have those where you live? You know what I forgot to do that little stamp there? I didn't do it on this one either. Oh well, you can't see it anyway. Coral snakes are poisonous and they're yucky. But apparently they're not aggressive. Uh, thanks. Thank you. You like my fall nails. You you know, I was trying to I was trying to break out and do something different. And my husband was like, your nails are weird. Why did you do that? <laughs> um, but I will tell you that this gray color, um, it's weird because it feels like my nail is bruised. You know, like if you slam your finger in the, the door, I keep thinking, especially on the back, it feels like <laughs> it feels like something's wrong, like it's going to fall off. But it's not. I like it. I'm glad you like it. Thanks. Yeah, I was trying to do something fall related. Because I always do the same thing. All right, double bow right there. Oh, so pretty. Okay, the sentiment we're using is thank you. It's a beautiful script font on this in this stamp set. I'm just going to stamp it down here. I, I went a little too low on that guy. Right here in soft suede. Ugh, I don't like that. Oh, well. It is what it is. And now all we're going to do is layer it up. This is the same size as before, um, three and three fourths by five. And then the um, the soft suede is three and three fourths by five. The white is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's a really narrow border. Carla says, all snakes are poisonous to me. Um, Carla, amen. Because we had a giant rat snake that was like, I swear it was only me who saw it. It was like 20 feet long, humongous. I kept telling my husband and he said I'm crazy. Finally, one day he was mowing the grass and I saw it under the bird feeder and he went over there and he said, oh, it's just a rat snake. I'm not going to do anything. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, buddy. It's a snake. Ugh. All right, there we go on that balmy blue card base. No, don't start barking. Um, hopefully, I just saw, who said, was it Carol? It's quite smoky here in Colorado Springs. Hold, please. Every time Ellie comes home. Ellie. Ellie, <laughs> will you take them, please? You got to stop leaving and coming back during Facebook Live. Um. Carol, I hope it's, is Colorado Springs near um, Rocky Mountain National Park? I don't know. I hope it's not smoky. Darn it, I hope not. All right, there we go. So Bumblebee, Daffodil Delight. I definitely like Daffodil Delight better. All right, moving on. We've got one more project left, and I'm so excited about this project. I told you guys um, the other day that I had just designed a project and it was so super cute and I couldn't wait to show you. Well, this is that project. So let me get everything out of the way and I will show you. All right, get all these over here and that and that and that, trash out. Okay, have you guys seen, and I meant to, oh, right here. You guys have seen our little coffee caddies that are in the catalog, right? The very front of the catalog. These are them. This is the coffee cup that you can order from Stampin' Up. Super cute. Just a little bit smaller than a regular size coffee cup. So it's pretty big. So in that spirit, I said, let's make a teeny tiny one 
for the K-Cups. Now, those little tiny restaurant coffee cups, I don't know if those would fit in here. But anyways, a K-Cup is easier to get. You can get that at your grocery store, whatever. Pumpkin spice, gingerbread, whatever. Fun flavors. Um, teachers, I always think about the teachers. A lot of them have those Keurigs at school, so they could just pop that in. Wouldn't that be a cute little treat? All right, so I'm going to show you how to make this. And I'll show you my sketch. Look, here was my sketch. I was so proud of myself with this project. <laughs> I would, you know, sometimes I can't figure things out. And other times, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I figured that out. It's amazing. That was one of those. Okay, we're going to make it out of soft suede. And we're going to use a different pattern paper this time too. Um, just because of, you know, variety. And I don't, I don't have a ton of that paper. All right, now these measurements are over on that PDF. You're definitely gonna need the PDF for this one, okay? It's on the second page down here. You're gonna need two pieces of soft suede cardstock that are six by six and a half, so almost square, but not quite. Um, on the long side, the six and a half side, you're gonna score it at four and six, okay? Then turn it to the short side and score it at two and four, then go back to where you started on the long side and you're gonna score it two inches and you're gonna stop right there at that horizontal line, okay? All right, so let's do that again. Long side, four and six, turn it to the short side, two and four, go back to the long side and score it two inches just to the first score line, okay? Thanks, Jan. The hoops are awesome. I love the gold hoops. They're so, so cute. And they're light. They don't weigh down your card very much. Okay, so now let me show you how this is going to go. Um, okay, <laughs> I had to think for a minute. First, over here on the right side, we're going to cut off these skinny tabs. And while you're doing that, cut that at an angle, okay? Come down here and cut this one and I'm gonna cut it at an angle also, okay? And then we're gonna do that to this side and to this side, okay? So there we have it. Now we're gonna cut this square completely off. Like that. Then this middle one right here, we're gonna cut from this corner to that corner, okay? Diagonal, so get your scissors in there and just cut all the way across like that. Now we're gonna cut this line right here and we're gonna stop right there, okay? There we go. So there you have it. If you watch the replay and you wanna pause it so you can see your paper, that's what it should look like, kind of like, I don't know, a ship or something. So let's do the second one. Cut off the skinnies on the end like that. Then we're gonna cut this score line and cut those at an angle. Cut these at an angle. Hi, Alyssa, it's okay if you're late. All right, now this square goes completely off. Cut it completely off like that. And last but not, oh no, one more step. Diagonal right here, right? And last but not least, that little line right there. Okay, so there we go. Now we have two of these. I've got lots of trash. Let me get all of that out of the way. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna stamp an acorn, and I just realized we could have used this scrap. So keep that in mind if you make these. All right, now burnish those lines. Get them get them bent and make it easier. And grab your Stampin' Seal Plus, <clears throat> and I'm gonna put it on that short tab right there. And I'm gonna overlap end to end. This little thing's gonna fold backwards. All right, so put it right there, okay? Now flip it over and get this little short tab and put the adhesive on it. Whoops. And if you fold this over and you fold this over like that, they will meet. 
Okay, and there, can you see how this is going together? All right, now on the bottom, fold in the little sides. We're gonna put a little bit of adhesive right there. Fold that in, although that doesn't feel like I burnished that. Fold that in, make it square, because remember you've cut those at an angle, so you have to kind of eyeball that. Push those in. Now, <clears throat> adhesive on the bottom. There we go. Okay, now, all we're gonna do is put these together like this in the middle. We're gonna punch a circle here. Any size circle will work. My, this is a retired one inch. I can't stop using my little punches, guys. I, hopefully you have them. Um, we don't sell them anymore, but I don't know why. <laughs> We need these punches. Um, so take these and we're gonna punch a hole in it. So if, you're, if your circle punch won't punch through two pieces of cardstock, punch one, line it up, and then punch the other. Um, but mine will go through two layers. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some adhesive here and I'm gonna fold them in like that. All right. Um, yes, Heather, I did make a reservation. Yes, I know. I made two reservations. We have a national park season pass. And so um, I was able to do that easily. There we go. Whoops. There we go. But thank you for that. Um, I had been, I follow a lot of the national parks on social media. And I knew that that was part of the deal these days. And the Saturday that we're there was actually not available. I don't know, I don't know why, but it wasn't available. Um, but we're gonna do the Thursday and Friday. There's so many other things we can do up there too. Okay, so I'm using the plaid tidings paper. I'm using a different pattern this time, see? Um, again, Christmas on the back, so you could make these Christmas if you wanted. These could be um, peppermint. Um, also, I was going to show you what I'm using is actually hot cocoa. I went, we have a big drawer of K-cups. My husband drinks coffee and then my girls like the hot chocolate. So I found these. I thought those were cute. Junior mint hot cocoa. I didn't have any pumpkin spice, which is what I wanted to use. Nobody here would drink that. All right. So I'm going to put these pieces here. I would drink it if I liked coffee. I can drink coffee if I put a ton of sugar <laughs> and milk, which is really not coffee drinking, right? I mean, that's like a dessert. I don't mind the flavor. All right, there we go. Okay, now let's make the tag. I have cut out a Whisper White Tasteful Label. Tasteful Labels Die, is that what it's called? Tasteful Texture. It's on the sheet. What did I write? Tasteful Layer Dies. All right, we're gonna get that. Where did I put that stamp? Here we go. And all the inks are over here, of course. You know what, do I wanna use Bumblebee? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna use Bumblebee and I'm gonna use that scattered leaf stamp right here like that and right here like that. And then maybe we'll do another one like that. Maybe we'll do one up here too, like that. And then we're gonna do the sentiment in soft suede. Why don't I put all my inks back? like I wasn't gonna use them. My heart is grateful for you, okay? Now, we're gonna stamp that. What color did I use? Okay, good, I don't have to clean it. We're gonna stamp one of those. And what color did I use on that? Okay, good, it's clean. And one of those. And we're gonna use the fill-in stamp, stamp off. Fill in, stamp, stamp off, fill in. All right, and we'll get the punches and we'll punch them out. Um, I'm reading what Shelly wrote. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I read that the most busy time for Rocky Mountain National Park is the end of September, beginning of October. And I told my husband that, oh, I was like, oh. But then they're doing reservations because they're not gonna be at full capacity. So I thought, well, maybe this is a good time to go. Who knows? 
it may still be busy, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And there's other hikes, too, that aren't necessarily in Rocky Mountain that we're going to do, too. I've been kind of staking out things I want to do. Close to Denver and Estes Park. All right, I'm putting these on with many dimensionals. And then I'm going to get this little heart that I cut out with that same heart die we used last week. Is it last week? No, the week before. The detailed heart. Is that what it's called? Detailed heart die. And put that right there in the middle. And then we will put this. Aw, thanks, Carol. That's very sweet. I have my next two Facebook Fridays, the first two weeks of October. I got them all designed yesterday. So we're going to start doing some Halloween stuff in the first two weeks of October. All right, so there we go. I did it up a little bit too high, didn't I? I want it up a little bit, but not that high. There we go. All right, so now we'll put those in there, but we've got to put something cute on it. I've got two scalloped pumpkin pie circles. I'm gonna put the DSP. This is the pumpkin pie DSP from the Regal stack. It coordinates, right? <laughs> plaid and polka dots. You would never wear that together, but on this, it works. And I will put those on here like that. Hey, Leah, guess what? One of the Facebook Fridays, that's what I designed yesterday, the Have a Hoot. I don't know if that will be the first week of October. Okay, that did not go on there straight at all. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that'll be the first or the second week of October. Very cute stamp set with the little owls. Very, very cute, yes. And the other one is the Ghoulish Greetings. I had fun with my all my Halloween goodies. And now I need to get rid of them. Get them out of here. Because, you know, zero self-control. Thankfully, all those dove pumpkins are gone. My goodness. I have... That that was bad. I could not stop eating those. The other things I have, I have Kit Kats and Twix. Not, yeah, Twix and, um, oh, um, well, what are they called? The Cookies and Cream Hershey, little Hershey bars. They have little uh, fang. They have fangs on the side of them. That's one of the things that I use. Those, for some reason, those don't really tempt me like those Dove chocolates did. Like, I'm like, meh. Another thing that's tempting me, I did buy some pumpkin pie Kit Kats. Those tempt me. I don't know why those tempt me more than just like a regular Kit Kat, I could care less. But the pumpkin pie flavors? Oh. And Lisa, I'm gonna go find those vampire kisses. You may have responded to me and I didn't see it. I, are those from Walmart? Vampire Hershey kisses, I've never seen them. I'm gonna have to go look for those. Lisa's the one that found the uh, apple pie Kit Kats that I did. Love those. All right, so I'm doing bumblebee gingham ribbon again. I can't stop. I don't want to stop. I love it. It's my favorite ribbon. And there you go. How cute, right? And K cups, how many K cups are in a box? I don't know. You can get different sizes, right? They're cheap. Wouldn't that cost you less than a dollar, probably? Two K cups? What a fun gift that would be. All right, you guys, we're done. What time is it? Oh, almost, 3.05. All right, so let's look what we did today. We did the K-Cup Caddy, K-Cup Caddy, and we did the um, Colorado-inspired card, and we did the Shaker card, and I have another card that I'm going to post on my blog on Monday using those leaves as well. Um, remember, uh, if you use this host code, between now and Monday at midnight and your order is over $35, I'll send you the make and takes for free next week. Um, if your order is over $50, I'll put you in a drawing for the cut and emboss machine. Um, again, thank you to everybody who has helped me. I am less than $100 away right now. It is crazy. Um, I didn't even think I'd get there by the end of the month and you guys just hit it out of the park. Um, I will do another giveaway for those of you who maybe planned on ordering this weekend. I will add another line to our chart and give another give away one more cut and emboss machine. You guys have a great weekend. Make sure you grab that PDF over there on my blog. I will update the video here on Facebook with all the links. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. And I will see you in 
Well, I'll see you when I give away the next cut and emboss machine, but Facebook Friday, I'll see you in two weeks. No Facebook Friday next week. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one. Bye.